I turn it to show the pop shit on your computer. You know what I mean? What's poppin'? It's Presco. Let's go something if you know something. You're not tuned into the Skull Show, bitch. Hey, Tony the Shooter. Shooting shit up on your motherfucking computer, you dig? Super futuristic trap. That's it. Y'all trying to get me in trouble. Shit, my girl is a celebrity in my eyes, so you know what I'm saying? That's who I'm smashing, but you know, we might have a threesome or something one day, so any bad bitch out there that might make the cut. <laughs> it was okay. You know, I didn't I didn't really need for nothing, but you know what I'm saying, as far as like mental and you know what I'm saying, spiritual shit go, a nigga really shit, nigga really didn't have nobody to count on. Like nigga was a lone wolf in this bitch. Still is, but shit, I got my you know, my kids now, thankfully. They blessings and my girl and shit, but man, I don't really fuck with my parents or nothing like that. So it is what it is, man. I'm here where I grew up in my granny crib, Woodtown, but I don't fuck with her either, so fuck it. <laughs> Growing up in Dallas, man, that shit was crazy. It was like a, a, a like a spiritual movement, man. I don't know if y'all was a part of the goddamn dance, you know what I'm saying, movement in Dallas, the boogie movement, but that shit was like a spiritual movement. Everybody was in tune with that shit. It was like a culture. We had our own little, you know, just energy, sound, everything. So, man, we really did influence the game a lot prior to just now getting, you know what I'm saying, the proper exposure. But, man, it was cool growing up in Dallas. Boogie Squad, like, man, we, we was we was dancing with Lil Runny and shit. Shout out to Lil Runny. We was always, you know what I'm saying, fucking with niggas in the city, Sparrow and all them niggas who was dancing. But, Man, Young Nation and shit, they had a city lit, bro. Shout out to them for so they legends. Dig. Lil Wayne, Future. Um, shit, those was really the main two people that just influenced how I, I rap and shit. But, yeah. Fake love, you know what I'm saying? Fake support. Like, people say they fuck with you and shit, they'll go see a, a mainstream nigga or somebody else before they, you know, spend money on a ticket to come out to your show or support your tape or anything like that. So that's really the hardest part, like fake love and shit. But it's really cool, shit. The grind, everything. It's beautiful to be an artist coming up in the game, you dig? I got shot last year in April. No, actually it was May, May 8th. Uh, I got shot three times, you know what I'm saying? Twice in the head, right between my fucking eyebrows and shit in the back of the head. A bullet grazed my head, but I still got a bullet in my groin and shit, so. Shit, that shit was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? I used to be in the streets heavy and shit, so I used to be doing a lot of crazy shit. Nigga tried to do some crazy shit, that shit just backfired. And shit, thankfully I'm still here, but yeah, I grew up from that shit, I learned a lot from it. So I got a story now, I just gotta tell people, you know? Shit, be careful when you out here doing what you're doing. Karma is real, you know what I'm saying? That shit'll come back on you, but yeah, let's go some bitch. <laughs> Me and my brother, d Phil, Spanglish. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We just had like random ass names and shit, but he was Spanglish basically, so I ended up coming over with Fresco. That just means fresh in Spanish. If nobody ever knew that shit, now you know. But yeah, it's just fresh. You know what I'm saying? I always got some fresh shit, fresh sounds, everything. Packs, fresh packs. <laughs> A lot of new music, videos. Oh, I'm teaming up with this, uh, this agency, Filthy Mogul, uh, Empire. Shout out to my nigga Slim over there with them. We gonna link up. Uh, we got a lot of shit coming in 2019, first quarter. So, yeah, just follow me on social media at One King Skull. You dig? Erica Badu for sure. You know what I'm saying? Out top, gotta say that's like the queen of Dallas. But um, like DOC and shit, like legend wise. But uh, recently, uh, I would have to say like uh, Thug Boss Nation and Young Nation. You dig? They like the legends of the city, really. They was QC before QC. They just ain't get the right exposure. But yeah, shout out to them for sure. And myself, definitely. I'm definitely in the top five. Dallas just ain't got the right exposure yet. So yeah, it's coming though. Niggas just gotta understand the business of being signed to a record label. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it depends what kind of label and contract you signing with and dealing with. So. Um, I would sign with a label depending on the circumstances, you know, if I if I feel like I could utilize it and gain from it, but uh, I would prefer to stay independent, you know, and just grind it out. Either way it go.
See, these people here fucked up. They don't understand the reality and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, false reality. Social media is not real, you dig? So a million followers, niggas go buy followers on, on Instagram all day. Niggas can look like he got a million followers. Like, nigga, I need 10 bands. I can go invest that into myself and gain 10, well, 10 million real followers in real life, you dig? So fuck that shit. <laughs> hey, shout out to everybody doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Triple D shit, clip side shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really don't too much follow niggas, especially the mainstream niggas that's coming up right Well, they're not really mainstream, but you know, they go in that direction. I never really listened to nobody else but myself, so, um, I fuck with the city though, like everybody grinding. We got a spotlight on us right now. We never really got the credit we deserve. We really always influenced the hip hop game, Texas period, but Dallas too. Um, we had a big impact on that shit and we never really got our credit, so it's good we getting our shine right now, you dig? Really, Kodak Black or Future, um, Lil Wayne though. I can't remember how I didn't say that first, but Lil Wayne, shit, that'd be it probably really right now. Shit, yeah, Sko, some if you know some bitch, you know what I'm saying. I'm still here. Follow me on social media at One King Sko. We got a lot of shit coming up 2019. You know what I'm saying. Tune in. Shit, shout out to everybody that been fucking with me in the city. You know what I'm saying. We here. Triple D shit. Shout out to A Tony.